Fort of Bangalore dates back to about the early 1600s. Bangalore actually had two forts, not one. Okay, the, there was a fort around the town which was made of mud, and the other fort where the king lived, the king's quarters, which was also made of mud and then later converted to a stone fort. The city was defined by this whole idea of the kote. Kote means fort in Kannada, the pete, which means the town. And then it means then there's a kere, which means the lake, which provided drinking water. And next to it was the tota, which was the garden which provided food. So this this combination of these four defined the city. And then in 1791 and again in 1799, the fort was breached. And they started dismantling the fort. The walls started being used for other buildings. They pulled it all down and the moat was filled in around the fort. The water body was filled in and all the big roads of the city were, the, they were made into roads to go around the city. And when this fort was gone and only the little gateway that is there that is left is there, people don't, they say, oh, it's such a small little fort. Is this city must have been a tiny place. The fort was actually 40 acres. It's a giant area. There is only one part of the fort of Bangalore which still is exactly like it was 300 years ago. The northeastern quadrant of the fort. The fort has four quadrants. The northeastern quadrant of the fort is the milkman's community. They are all milkmen. Every building in that will have cows in the ground floor even today. And they live on the upper floors. It's a particular community and the fabric of the fort only has stayed like that, only in that area. I somehow wish they hadn't broken down that fort because beyond its utility value to protect it, somehow it gives it a sense of a old city. People are proud of a city like when they can physically see its past. I wish they had kept it but it's gone now. important people remember that. You can see the picture on the wall there behind you, Project Z. What? This is a movement by a lot of us to bring awareness to Bangalore's heritage. And we are going to go walk along the outer wall of the fort. Amele Amandi, Yenta Kade Kalastive, Yenta Groupuna. Itara, Itara, Ubru, Namale, Fayam Sevaka, Nayakaritare. Ita, Aura Nimuna, Madala Ilund Gumpirate. Innandu, ye rasta konele rate. Amele, Aurore Helter, hello over the next one. Amele, Kalaspalia Police Station, go muncha on the junction ide. Alun Gumperate, Adad Mele signal alerate. Amele Kim's Kim's hospital, the other terate. Amele Makalakuta, Karner alerate. Amele, our road is Saitia Persia, the road of Kade, the police station is Alun derate. Amele. Tipu Palace Hatra Irate. Tipu's Palace and then come back to the Fort High School grounds which is on that corner. Yeah. It starts now. Let's go! Let's go! March! 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 You walk, you walk, you walk, you walk, you walk. You hey, you did it! Follow the line. Hey. 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 Hey.
This is uh, we have been uh, requesting the government to uh, notify this Restore. as a monument. People are not listening, so we have to convince the archaeology department of uh, Karnataka to please take over and maintain this properly. Yeah. Already, a lot of uh, damage has happened. Now, some restoration and maintain this as a heritage of our city. I was part of the team that documented the Tipu's palace, the Amri, and the fort. So we actually physically we were just into architectural school and they taught us how to measure draw using these structures and, and this is a very basic but really self-sufficient structure. It's a single vaulted structure which is a marvel on its own. Hey, Prakash is calling us. just to, to walk out here and, and see how, how history sort of collides with what's happening now. And, and, I, and I think we're sort of blind to it in the day, but in the night it sort of really comes alive and you pause and stop and look. And I loved going to the armory and how it, it was suddenly there, you know, in the middle of everything. Very, very beautiful. I loved it. It's a radical experience for, I think, pretty much everybody that's been here looking at the places that we typically pass by as a drive through pausing and watching them in in this sodium vapor light is what is taking us back literally taking us back 200 years <laughs> Sultan 
This is the place where I was born. It's like an opportunity where I can tell others also there is a heritage thing in my city and my place and help it to grow bigger and bigger. I am a king revisiting the city and the uh, king is uh, come back to see the Kote, the fort, again. Visit the Kote, we, ha we have to only see the mark outlines. So I have become like, my, myself as a Kote and I have just marked myself as a Kote. Mysore Rajya Dadoriye It's very special because we're trying to conserve the stories that surround the city. Every city has a story behind it. And uh, I think uh, such an event cannot be pulled off in many other cities. Bangalore is one place where you can actually uh, pull off such an event with so many people turning up. It's a good thing that people have started becoming conscious about the history and the heritage. Beyond expectations, I think uh, when we were sitting two days ago, at dinner, we thought it would be a smallish crowd, maybe only enthusiasts or special specialists of, of history. But I think this has touched a popular vein. Uh, we've seen people from uh, all walks of life come and participate. I think that's, that's a very, very good thing. It's wonderful, amazing, yeah. And uh, being an artist, I really like to be part of it. Yeah. To be very honest, today is the first day I actually 
really saw the fort, as in, you know, uh, experienced the fort. I have always pa driven past this place, um, and I know, uh, because I sing, I'm an actress, I know of the stories, I know of the songs from the songs about our cultural heritage, but I have not been able to actually physically be able to see this place. So it really was a fantastic experience for me. Unfortunately, we've not been able to preserve whatever was there, and we just have a little bit of the fort left. Hopefully the government will at least save that much that's left. It's very important. We have to preserve it. So I came to support this. It was very great. It was very, very Bangalorean, I think. I didn't understand too much and how this worked all together, but how you felt it was very spontaneous and it was great. Actually, for me, it's the first experience to feel people getting into a movement talking about it. We're very surprised to see so many people at night coming on the street talking about this issue. And when we were walking around, it was very great because everybody talks a little bit about his history. Old people were telling me, I lived next door. One said, I, I'm born here. And he was proud of being here. And that was great, good experience. great fun and uh, painting the town red means let's party and celebrate. It was so much fun to see all these people, so many of us dressed in red and I had a great time and we learned so much. I went to the Tipu Sultan Armour which I've, not, I've been in Bangalore for 24 years and I've never seen it. So it was great, it was a great learning experience and I had a great time. So that was painting the town red for me. Yeah. <laughs> and I had fun being a volunteer with all these cool stuff so yeah it was just a lot of fun. To be honest with you, I've never been to that fort because it is always there and I never care. And you know, the idea of heritage is a good idea and I'm thinking about it, but it's all in my head. This is the first time I had a kind of realist, realistic, a real, you know, body and soul connect with the idea of the fort. And I'll never forget this moment. It's a great marking moment of my own identity as a Bangalorean, you know. I think it's way beyond expectations, right? I think some two, three hundred people turned up and I think it was a good to actually create this kind of awareness in the city and it's good that a lot of people have understood that uh, even the mere act of just walking an old boundary brings up sense of history to people, right? And I think it was a great night and I think it will add to the urban chronicles of Bangalore, what happened tonight. It's an important event. Andaduru Bengaluru Ananda the Tavaruru Andaduru Bengaluru Ananda the Tavaruru Baduki the Ray, Illy now Baduki the Beko Sukha Padalu, ye would a Lina with a Beko Andaduru Bengaluru Ananda the Tavaruru Baduki the Ray, Illy now Baduki the Beko Sukha Padalu, ye would a Lina with a Beko Andaduru Bengaluru Ananda the Tavaruru